Hi guys, um, I decided to make a vlog and this is really for two reasons. Partly because my media studies students said it would be a good idea and partly because um, I know a lot of you are on exam leave so you're a bit reluctant to come into revision sessions so or you haven't really had time to break from your schedule. So I thought I'd spend um, this vlog just going through the June 2011 paper which um, some of you have come in to do, some of you have collected and done. And I just want to share um, the top six um, tips for exam success based on this June 2011 paper. Um, first of all, um, I guess a lot of people who have done this paper, including my year 10s, have scored around um, 40 out of 80, which is roughly um, a C grade, um, which is perfectly fine, which is good for um, your first exam, your mock exam, um, but really there's a lot of things that we can improve on just purely based on technique. So the first one is um, always explaining your answers. Um, don't use one word um, or short answers in any of your answers at all, even if they're just one mark questions. Um, for this edXL GCICT, you will need to explain your answers in full, and the examiner can't really penalise you for writing too much. For the extended questions, those are the six mark questions, I would really recommend you using um, the structure that some people use in business, which is PEE. -E. Um, so state your point, um, give your example, and explain how your example is relevant, and then you can move on to your next point. Um, but don't just write long prose and don't just give one word answers or bullet points to these six mark questions either. Otherwise, you're not going to get the marks. Third of all, um, don't leave any boxes blank. Even if you don't know the answer, just hazard a guess and make something up. They can't dock your marks for writing something. The examiner's not going to laugh at you or anything like that. So you can make something up. Um, fourth was to do with um, the question on downloads. Um, the question specifically asked, if I just get this on my screen, um, the question is asking about musicians selling their music um, and their videos as downloads as, against a buy, as opposed to buying physical products. Um, a lot of candidates confuse this question, assuming that because they mentioned that um, the music was to be downloaded, it automatically meant it was free. But if you read the question carefully, it did say selling these downloads might be a bit foreign to some of you, um, but yeah, some people actually pay for their music. Um, they get it from places like iTunes or Amazon, um, as opposed to illegal sites. Um, so you are really weighing up the advantages and disadvantages for both the musicians and also for the audience as well, and clearly separating those. Um, the last six mark question was um, about privacy, um, so online privacy. and. Um, some people confuse this with online security as a whole, um, but privacy is a very um, niche area of online security. So what we're dealing with here is your personal information, such as your name, your address, your photo, um, typical things that you would have on social networks like Facebook, um, and actually the implications of those being online. So say, for example, that you might have um, cases of identity theft, um, you might have cookies or spyware which are tracking your activities online um, and also it might also bring in um, issues with privacy policies, what is listed on the privacy policies on websites as well. So don't talk about everything that you know about internet security. If they ask you about um, online privacy and keeping your personal data secure then that's very, very specific. The last piece of advice I can give you is um, do all the multiple choice questions in pencil first. And that's because if you put, say, a cross or a tick in a box and then you decide that actually that's not the right answer and then you go and scribble it out, you're only drawing more attention to that wrong answer and it makes it very difficult for the examiner um, to know which answer to mark. And you want to make it as easy um, for the examiner to mark the paper as possible. Um, so yeah, those are the top six tips. Um, if you've been um, coming to school to go to these revision sessions, then well done. Once you've done that paper, you can pick up the second paper, which looks like this. Um, this is the January, yeah, this is a January 2012 paper. Um, and I think the best 
revision that you can be doing is doing past papers and then getting feedback on them uh, from myself or going through the mark scheme yourself um, and then looking at what you got wrong and then going back and revising those areas which you didn't do so well on. Um, lastly, just to close, I realize that some classes um, missed a lesson on DRM and um, the whole um, thing about digital rights management and music and content. So um, I decided to write a short poem for you all which kind of summarizes that section of the book and that section of the syllabus. And I was going to do a rap, but in all honesty, I don't really have the same skills as Mr. Brackenall, so I didn't really want to show myself up there. So um, here's a short poem. Um, I'll add some pictures in as well so you can um, so yeah, you can visualize it. Um, so it starts off with, downloading music is a common crime. It means artists lose money, nickels and dimes. You can also get viruses from these illegal sites. So avoid peer-to-peer -peer sharing and respect copyright. Use something reputable, iTunes or Amazon. Their music also comes with DRM protection. Digital rights management is what it stands for, so music can only be played on one device, not more. DRM comes on iPlayer videos too. It's why downloads stop working after a week or two. This is why they can protect their TV programs and still make revenue if a DVD comes out. So that's something very short, very concise, and hopefully that explains what DRM is. Um, very lastly, i um, just like to give a shout out to two students for actually coming along to the catch-up session, um, which it was Tuesday after school, and uh, that's Aziza and Cyril, so well done for doing your past paper and coming along. Um, the ICT lessons will run as usual during your normal times, and um, obviously if you've got exams and you can't come into those, um, but if you want to drop in, if you've got a lesson on Tuesday or on Friday, you can drop into those. Um, or if you want to drop in Tuesday after school, we can go over the past paper as well. Um, that's all for now, and I'll probably do a second vlog um, once people have started doing January 2012 paper. Okay, I'll see you soon.